Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We got a uh, review for you today. We're going to be reviewing this uh, Atherin Ray to Roll uh, Burlington Northern SD40-2. Uh, decorated, of course, is BN7812. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll start with the packaging first. Um, you got your uh, nice uh, sturdy box right here. And the uh, protective clamshell that sits that the locomotive sits in, uh, complete with these little foam risers right here to protect it, and of course your slick paper to prevent scratches, and that should protect them all very well in storage and transport. And you also have your uh, tsunami uh, or economy uh, starter guide. Uh, you got a little baggie here full of uh, detail parts, which is mainly the drainage pipes that goes on the fuel tanks here. Uh, and your handrail protectors, your foam handrail protectors right here. It goes in the handrails right here. Keeps them from getting all bent up. Uh, your exploded parts diagram for this looking little And of course, you get a little uh, flyer from Atherin. To sign up for your email now that out of the way we'll take a look at the engine itself um, very nicely detailed even though it's not technically a genesis engine it's a ready to roll but a lot of nice details to talk about here uh, in fact why don't we just go ahead and start with the uh, front of the engine i'll take it off track and we'll just set it there where you guys can get a look at it i'll zoom in right there on him Sorry for the shakiness, but a lot of nice details right here. You got your uh, MU cables, which are rubber, uh, simulated rubber cables right there. Very nice. Brake hose right here. Again, simulated rubber. Uh, nice printed number boards. Uh, now, these right here are pretty interesting. Uh, these are not ditch lights. These are what, uh, uh, these are actually strobe lights, um, Back in the very early 90s, just before ditch lights were implemented, uh, BN was exper experimenting with different light packages. Of course, they uh, had beacons on top of the cab here on uh, some units. And uh, some of these got these uh, nifty little lights right here. Um, and what these do, uh, when the horn is sounded, they flash alternately. Uh, very similar to what you would see on the uh, Amtrak uh, F40PHs of the day and the and uh, they they work in a very similar fashion, so uh, it's pretty pretty neat deal. These were around, like I said, in the very early nineties, uh, around ninety one, ninety two ish, uh, to about uh, ninety five, ninety six when ditch lights were uh, became mandatory for all locomotives. Uh, they were made mandatory on all new locomotives, I believe, in nineteen ninety five, uh, from what I've googled, and then. They were mandatory on all locomotives, including these engines, um, in 1996 to 1997, which is, again, you can Google that and uh, all that information is there. So um, anyway, moving, moving along now, uh, the interesting thing about this paint scheme, um, BN7812 is actually, uh, uh, if you also Google it, um, is widely believed to be the only SD40-2 to wear this particular iteration uh, of this uh, particular paint scheme with the uh, white around the uh, number boards, the white on the, uh, around the windshield and uh, cab doors and whatnot. But uh, uh, the other, and with this uh, large BN logo on the nose, uh, the other engines... SD40-2s, as well as a uh, select number of GP50s, as well as the uh, standard cab SD60s, had this area painted orange. And right here on the nose, where you see the BN logo, would actually be orange with black stripes, uh, dubbed, uh, they were dubbed either the Tiger Stripe Scheme, or some people around uh, these parts dubbed it as the uh, Frisco Northern Scheme, which... Uh, that paint scheme appeared just shortly after BN's takeover of the Frisco Railroad. Um, 
we'll kind of save that story for another day in the, in the uh, presence of time. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief little history on that. Um, however, uh, the similarities it shared uh, with this engine, it had the uh, Burlington Northern spelled out on the long hood. So uh, there's that. So anyway, moving right along, you got your... Uh, we looked at the MU cables. Uh, you got your McHenry knuckle coupler uh, right here. Let me center that where it'll show up a little bit. There we go. Uh, you got your McHenry knuckle coupler right here. Um, uh, the McHenry couplers are not horrible, but they're not great either. Uh, if I would make a suggestion, I would swap these out for KD-158s. Uh, you get a lot more reliability out of those couplers. Uh, you don't have to do that uh, if you're not going to be pulling uh, like mega long trains with this engine. Uh, these these would probably hold up fine. Um, however, if you're going to pull long trains, I would suggest swapping these out for uh, KDs because uh, they're not going to last. These McHenrys will not last long uh, under that kind of strain. So anyway, moving along, uh, you got a nice looking grab arm right here on the nose. Of course, you got your strobe lights right here. Uh, handrails look nice and straight. Uh, you can see the uh, coupler cut lever right there. Uh, you got windshield wipers. Looks very good on this engine. Of course, you can see the air horn right there. You can see the uh, firecracker antenna right there. All looks really nice. Paint looks really good. And you can see the uh, simulated gasket around the door, which is really, really neat. Um, okay, we'll... Uh, Set this guy on the track now and let you get a look at the uh, side. And I'll zoom out as soon as I do that. Um, okay, let me zoom out just a little bit. And we'll go along the side of this engine here. Uh, again, nice nice setup here. You got a grab. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a grab iron right there on the step. Um Got your little uh, rear view mirror or wind deflector right here. Of course, sliding cab windows right here. Uh, get a better look at that air horn and the firecracker antenna. Handrails all look nice and straight. Uh, truck detail, again, even though it's not a Genesis model, looks very nice. Uh, you got your uh, fuel filler neck right there, your fuel sight gauge right there. Uh, painting all looks and decaling all looks really nice on this model. You can read all the uh, small lettering under magnification that is present. Uh, got your SD40-2 right here and the uh, F right there. Nice looking white sill stripe, uh, which by the way, the Tiger Stripe engines also had this uh, white stripe as well. So uh, be aware of that. Um, and then, of course, as I mentioned, you got the uh, Burlington Northern spelled out in Long Hood and the large BN Herald. Uh, steps look really nice with the uh, white accent stripes. Uh, you can see the uh, various grab irons here on the nose. You got this white one here, and then it may be a little more harder to see, but you got a green one that's kind of hidden behind this uh, front handrail here. But uh, it does look very nice. Come around here to the rear, and again, I'll zoom in on him. Where we can get a good look at him here. Uh, again, let me zoom back out just to here. There we go. Again, uh, you got your uh, MU hoses right here, your brake hose, which again, simulate rubber. You can kind of move these guys a little bit. Uh, you got your rear McHenry coupler, your Coupler cut lever. Again, nice looking handrails on the back. Nice looking grab irons right here. Rear number boards. Of course, your rear headlight. And then we'll uh, come around here to the engineer side. Again, sliding cab windows, your wind deflector, uh, cab sunshades all look real nice. Um, that guy there kind of popped out a little bit we'll have to stick him back in the hole there but we'll do that later but uh, again handrails look nice nice looking white stripe uh, you can see the bell right here again your fuel filler neck on this side your fuel sight gauge decaling all looks nice brake nice looking brake wheel here uh, truck detail again looks very nice on the front and rear 
uh, overall, just a very, very nice looking locomotive. And, um, uh, just my overall impressions of it. This is an engine I've kind of wanted for a while. Uh, when they announced this, uh, it kind of goes back to my childhood just a little bit growing up in, uh, in the early nineties. So we'll spin this guy back around here and set him back on the track. And then we'll, uh, plug our DCC system in and do a sound test and light test. So, uh, hang on just a second. We'll be right back and we'll do the, uh, sound test on it. Okay. We're back and you can hear it go through the startup motions now. Um, in fact, why don't I, uh, move this camera around here. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me pause this and we'll be right back. Okay, now, we're going to kind of do the little light test here. We're going to turn our headlights on. We're pressing F0. And again, my control likes to act up and misbehave. And it turned the bell on, which is F1. So there's the bell. Blow the horn. And uh, to get the strobes to activate, you'll have to uh, press F5 and then blow the horn. And there you see them flashing. Pretty cool little feature. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. So, uh, we'll go ahead and move it forward. And, of course, F4 will be the dynamic brake. slide the camera around to where we can get a look at the rear. Again, sorry for my, uh, sorry for the wild ride back there. But, uh, we'll go ahead and get a look at the rear here. Look at the lights on it. Again, nice and brightly lit here. So, we'll go ahead and back him up here. So, uh, my overall impressions of this engine, very, very nice. Very nice looking engine. Uh, you, uh, they've got these in stock at uh, Train World. Uh, they're about $195, $196 with sand and DCC, about $135 for uh, uh, the non-sound version, so yeah, very nice looking engine, very good sounding engine. The Tsunami Economy decoder sounds really good. Uh, got no complaints about this guy, so uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and uh, uh, we'll have a, we'll have some more quick reviews coming in the coming months, and uh, do a little train operating on the uh, layout. And uh, by the way, I'm on location up here. I'm at my brother's house. Uh, this go around so we kind of had to throw this little uh, little setup here to test the engine out it, it just wouldn't warm up enough to test to really test it on my home layout so and with everything going on I figured it'd just be better off just to throw a little setup here and do the review up here so anyway with that said uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, be sure to drop me a like uh, I greatly appreciate it and uh, you know, leave a comment below if you wish, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and uh, you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, be alerted to future videos just like this one. So with that said, we'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.